how can we bounce back? Because again, tomorrow's a new day. I mean, we we need to see what how we're going to move on. Tonight, the owners of a family run pallet yard are devastated after their business was destroyed by a fast moving brush fire in the South Bay. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Marcella Lee. Carlo Chiquetto has the night off. Firefighters are working through the night checking for hot spots after making progress on the Caliente fire. It has burned nearly 500 acres since it broke out just before noon in the 5300 block of Airway Road near Caliente Avenue in Otay Mesa. News 8's Elizabeth Sanchez will have more on the containment, but we begin tonight with Richard Allen and the big loss for the business owners. Richard. And Barbara Lee and Marcella, you can see the destruction that the Caliente fire has wrought here. Look behind me. What had been a thriving pallet business for more than two decades, now a bed of flames. The family that had worked so hard to build this business say tonight they are starting to rebuild. I think at this point it's just it's just shock. Irma Moreno and her daughter Evelyn in shock over the loss of their family's business, Moreno Pallets, which went up in flames as the Caliente fire raged through Otay Mesa Thursday. We were watching it live and it, you just see this huge bonfire happening and it hits you so personally. 25 years of building this family business now up in smoke. At this point, the owner and her daughter say it's too early to say how much they've lost. We haven't been able to see uh, how much machinery we've lost. Definitely for pro production, uh, over 100 grand. That's how much is moved almost every week. Irma Moreno says the most important thing is that no one was hurt in this fire, although the 15 people she employs will be temporarily out of work. Unfortunately, it's, it's happened before. Irma's brother, who shares the property here in Otay Mesa with his own pallet business, lost his company years earlier in another accidental fire. Before. We've seen it before, and luckily we've been able to bounce back. And as the Moreno family struggles to recover, this little kitten was recovered by firefighters huddled underneath some rubble. He's in a lot of pain. Uh, we see we're going to feed him right now and call animal control. In pain, but still alive. You're going to call it uh, lucky, right? Guillermo Soriano and his co-workers at the trucking business next door to the pallet yard say they were also lucky. Fortunate that the fire did not spread. I honestly thought we might not have something to come back to tomorrow. And while the Moreno family does not have a business to return to, they are resolute in their resilience. And hopefully figure out how we can uh, rebuild starting tomorrow. And back out live, one more look at the destruction that the Caliente fire has wrought here to this pallet business. Now, the Moreno family is asking for the community's help in rebuilding. They have set up a GoFundMe. If you'd like more information on that, just go to cbsa.com and click on the hot button. Now, for more on how and where this fire originated almost 12 hours ago now, we go to News 8's Elizabeth Sanchez. She is live at the command center. Elizabeth? Richard, this fire started just behind San Isidro High School. Right now, the latest from the command center is that 490 acres have burned. It is 50% contained. The Red Cross set up an evacuation center here at San Isidro High School, but it closed earlier tonight when people were allowed back into their homes. It started out as a small brush fire near San Isidro High School, but as the fire moved east, the flames found fuel engulfing a pallet yard. Propane tanks could be heard exploding, and firefighters made the call to evacuate nearby residents. So I got a phone call, yeah, and they, they said it was mandatory. Sylvia Bailey has lived in her home for 25 years. Oh my God, I was shaking. I was. The homes in this area are scattered throughout the neighborhood, making it difficult to check on each other. Police say about 70 homes had to be evacuated. Businesses make up most of the neighborhood. Scared, very scared. I went and grabbed my important papers and, you know, my pills and stuff like that that I had to have. Roads were closed, including both directions of the Border Expressway, while firefighters doused from the ground and above. Nearby, Border Patrol canines were on standby to evacuate. But just around 7 o'clock, all evacuations were lifted and the roads were back open. Police say all Southern California residents should take this as a reminder to prepare. Think to yourself, if I needed to leave right now, 
what are the things important to me and put those items on a note. Meanwhile, Sylvia Bailey is glad to be in her home tonight, but she says she'll be getting little sleep until the fire is 100% contained. Oh my God, 25 years and we've never had anything this bad. It was very, 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 very scary. Now, Sylvia Bailey has two cats. She was trying to round them up and get them into their carrier, but then she got the all clear. As you can see behind me, firefighters are still here on the scene. They'll be here throughout the night, making sure all the hot spots are put out. Marcella, Barbara Lee, back to you. All right, Elizabeth, thank you.